Hello friends, today let's solve the skyline problem. So we are given an array of the buildings. And actually, this means the location and the height of all the buildings. So we need to first get the outline of all the buildings. And finally, we output the key points. And the key points means the left end point of a horizontal line segment. So if the given buildings are these five buildings, we should output this line, uh, this point, this point, this point. But we do not output this point because it has, a, it is overlapped with this red building. So we only output this point. And we do not output this point because it's not the left of this horizontal segment. But we need to output this point because this is the rightmost building ends. So we also need to um, output the last key point, which has a zero height. So for these two buildings, we need to output this point, this point, and this point. So how to solve this problem? I believe you will have the intuition that this problem need us to do the sort thing. Why? Because you see, we need to iterate these buildings, but the given buildings are not sorted. So we first need to sort these buildings by its left index. Uh, for a given building, we have its left index, right index, and its height. So it seems that we need to first sort all the buildings by their left index. And we uh, iterate all these buildings and try to get the left endpoint of the same horizontal segment. And as I said before, you see for this green building, we do not add this point because it's lower than the red building. It seems that we also need to record the highest building uh, till till now. So how do you guess the like the highest building? Uh, the max heap is suitable for this uh, question. We can get the largest element in log n time complexity, and also. We also need to know the end of these buildings. So how do we know this is end? You see, for every building, we have its left index, right index. So when we uh, try to process the left index, that means the start of this building. But when we try to handle the right index, that means we have finishing, uh, finished the processing of this building. So that means we need a, like a map for the key, like the left index and right index and to its building. So that's the use of this map. But at first we need to sort them. So why not we just use a sorted map that is tree map. For every building, we map its building to its left index and the right index. So this is the two important data structure we may use. One is the tree map, another is the heap. Okay, let's see how to use these two data structures. If we are given the buildings of these five buildings, you see this is two, nine, this is the height, 10, and this is three, seven, 15. And there will be five, 12 and 12. This is the three building. And then 14, 20, 10. There will be 19, 24, and 8. So as I said, we already know the key points. And we need to build the tree map. So basically, for the given five buildings, we may have 10 key value in the tree map. But actually, you will find that maybe sometimes they have the same index. 
You see this example. We are we have these two buildings, zero two three and two five three. This is two building and they have the same index, which is two. So we cannot uh, simply use the integer map to a uh, integer array because they may have the same index. So we should use a list here. Okay, that's the things you need to pay attention to. And uh, then we get, uh, for this given example, we do not have the same index. So we have the 10 key values map. So this is the 10 key value map. And as is the tree map, so it's sorted, two, three, da, 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 da. okay. So how do you know that is the end of the uh, beauty? We may, I mean, it's the right index other than the left index. We just need to compare the key with the index zero value. Like if this two equal to the two, that means it's the left index. And for the line, the nine not equal to the two, so we know that is the right index. So we have finished uh, processing this building. Okay. So how do you get a result? We iterate this tree map for these two. We find it's equal to the B0. We call this uh, array B. So this is B0. It's the same. So we know this is the left index. And as uh, currently the result is list is empty, so we know that it must be a left endpoint of the horizontal segment. So we just put these two term into the result list. That the first will be the two term. And then, as this is the same, it's the start. We start to process this building. So we put this building into the heap. And then we process this 3, three 7, 15. It's still the same. So we this is a new building. So we put this building into the heap. And then now, we find the max height of this heap is 15 now. It's 15, right? It's 15. And uh, we find the re result list. Uh, the last build, the last point we save in the result list is this 10. 10 is different from this 15. So now we know that we need to save this 15 height into the result list. So we will save this 3, 15 into the result list. Okay, then keep going. Then we try to handle this 5, 5, 12, 12. This is an already, it's also a new building because 5 equal to the B0. And we also put this building into the heap. So we get 5, 12, 12. And now the, the largest height in the building is still this 15. And the, the last height in the result list is also 15. So that means we do not need to save this height in the result list. That's correct. Then we keep going. Then we try to handle this 7, 3, 7, 15. Because the 7 not equal to the B0, we know that is the right index of a building. So we remove that building from the heap. We remove this building. And now currently the maximum height in the heap is 12. Right, and the 12 is different from the last uh, height in the result list is 15. So now we need to save this 12. So we will save this 9, 12 into the result list. Uh, actually, it should be 7, 15. Well, yes, it's 7, 15 because the current key is 7. So we save this 7. Oh, 12, sorry, I made a mistake because the largest height is 12. So we save this 7, 12 into the list. Yes, it's correct. Okay, then we will process this 9, 2, 9, 10. And 9 is not equal to the 2. So we do the same thing. We remove this building from the heap. And now they only left one building in the heap, which is 12. And the uh, 12 equal to the last uh, the last uh, height in the result so we just uh, keep going and then we try to
process is 12, 5, 12, 12, which is this line actually. And we find uh, it's different. So we also remove the 5, 12, 12 from the heap. So currently the heap is empty. And the heap is empty, we know we have finished processes buildings. So we need to add the rightmost endpoint into the result list. So we will put this 12, this is the key, 12, 0 into the result list and so on and so forth. And finally, we will get the correct answer. Okay, that's our algorithm. So uh, if you are, not uh, you are not sure what is the key point, you may try this example. This is the buildings of this, uh, the location and the height of these given buildings. And that is the correct answer of these key points. You will see this is the left. And also this is left, not this one, because it overlaps. And this one, this one, this one, this one. Don't forget if it's only one building, we also need to record the end point of the rightmost uh, line. This one, this one, this one, this one. Okay. So in summary, we need to just record the different height. So we need to get the maximum height from the heap, compare that height with the last height in the result list. If they are different, we need to save the maximum heap, uh, sorry, maximum height and the current key to the result list. Okay, so when we made the left index, we put the building to the heap and otherwise we remove the building from the heap. And do not forget when the heap is empty, we need to record the last endpoint. Mm, okay, so we use the tree map and we also use priority queue. Both two data structures have the time complexity of n times log n because they basically are sorted data structures. And this is used in the for loop, we iterate this tree map. And for the tree map, we will, we also have iterate, uh, have to reiterate the uh, inter uh, uh, buildings that have the same index. Okay, now let's write the code. Hope you can understand this algorithm. We first need the tree map. That will be integer and the list into array map new tree map we do not need to write a comparator because in default it's sorted by the key uh, extend uh, the then for every building uh, we will see map put if absent b0 and the new array please and the map put if absent b1 and the new array please. so then map get this b0 we put uh, oh get so we add this b and uh, map get b1 and we also add this building okay so so we, now we build this map and we also need a priority queue we also uh, use the interray to name it max heap because we get the always get the max height new priority queue now because we saved by their height so for a b we sort by their b2 minus a2. We also need a result list. So we iterate all the key. We name it a in the map key set. We try to get the list that have the same index. So that will be We call it B, bigger buildings. So map get this A. 
them for every building. If B0 equal to A, which means it's the left index, we put that into the heap of uh, that building. Otherwise, we delete else, max heap, remove this B. Okay, so here, if the max heap once is zero, equal to zero, that means it's end index. So we use a temporary list. You array this. So temporary will add the, the no, we should look A, right? And the height will be zero. So result will add this temporary list. Else, if not equal to zero, we first get a max height. Max height will be the max heap peak, and that will be index two. So if the result size equal to zero, or result get last and last height size minus. Uh, minus one we get it and uh, we get the uh, get one right because it's a height not equal to the max height which means they are different we only in that case we need to save that to the result is is temporary add uh, the A and the temporary will add the, the max height and the result add this temporary. So finally return this result. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.